Hey Geminis and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Geminis, I will start with our singles first. Um, then I'll move into couples and pull oracle cards at the end. Alright, Gemini singles. Alright, here we go. Gemini singles. Past energy is the king of cups in your past. Your guys is future or present energy is the fool in reverse. And your guys' future energy way too many there. In the future, Gemini singles for April. Okay. You got two, the nine of cups, and the ten of wands in reverse. Your guys' foundation is the wheel. And your overarching energy is the death card. Beautiful, Gemini singles. Okay. So, um, in your foundation, learning lessons, dealing with karma, dealing with karma of the past. You could just have gotten out of a karmic relationship. Um, this is um, dealing with a lot of people and learning the lessons from each one of them. Um, every situation, every uh, relationship, however... Whatever, everything in our life um, has a lesson to it, whether we, it's a big lesson or a little lesson, um, but you are really um, ushering in new karma, positive karma, because it's in the upright, um, because you have dealt with that. You have dealt with your life lessons, um, and you're moving forward in a positive direction. In your past, you um, did have a relationship that was really full of love. You really admired this person. She was your queen. Um... However, it did not move into your current energy. Um, let's get some clarifiers on this. Why is the King of Cups here in their past? Yeah, so the Five of Wands in reverse. So, um, Gemini, you had a lot of love for this person, but um, this relationship um, came to an end. They could have possibly ended it with you um, because this even though there's a lot of love here, there's still a lot of love shared between the two of you. Um, it's not like this ended badly, uh, but this wasn't what was meant for you. They had, it had to be cleared. Your space had to be cleared um, in order to make room for new energy, in order to, um, you know, learn your lessons, go through your transformation, and then bring in somebody new, um, somebody who is, is meant for you. This could be a life partner that's coming in. Why is the fool here in reverse? Why is a fool here in reverse for Gemini singles? The four of pentacles is being cleared by. So, okay. Um, you're not giving this person, um, even if this person were to come back, you wouldn't um, go back with them. Uh, you are starting to realize, you're starting to recognize why all this is happening. Nothing happens by accident. Everything happens for a reason. And you're starting to figure that out. You're going to set out on your own journey. You're going to be in search of who it is that you're meant to be with. This other person could have moved on already and you're okay with it. You're just uh, cruising your own path. You're, um, you're not blocking out the idea of love. Um, you're not blocking out um, new relationships, but you're just not jumping into anything either. And, um, you're, you have closed the door to healing. Um, so even if this person were to return, um, you know, it's not right for you. Um, because this didn't, like I said, this didn't end on a bad note. Um, one of you just wasn't happy or there, I mean, there was just a rift in, in the relationship. So, um, so yeah, you're not blocking out the chances of new beginnings, but you're not really out looking for it either, um, Gemini. In your future energy, however, <laughs> why is the Nine of Cups here? And the Ten of Wands. Whoa. Yeah, 
Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, well, your bottom of the deck right now is death. So, beautiful. You are going through this spiritual transformation and just amazing. Um, in your future energy, Gemini singles, you are going to come into a relationship that is emotional fulfilling. This person is the answer to your prayers and you didn't even realize you were praying for it. Um, you are manifesting this energy into your uh, space because you have transformed. You have reached that new um, that new level of, uh, of your higher self of, you know, um, you're just, you're, you're beautifully transforming into the butterfly and having it as your bottom of the deck clarifier as well. Um, you, you are embracing this change. You are reaching for new levels of yourself. You are wanting to be better and you are being better. And it is just bringing, it's, it's, you're like a magnet right now, um, bringing in you that beautiful matching energy, um, that high vibe, um, beautiful connection is about to come into your life. If it hasn't already, it's definitely is in April. Um, because it's being clarified with the lovers and this deck, the, uh, the 10 of wands is just like, having it anywhere and everywhere because you guys just have to have each other in the reverse when it's paired with the nine of cups in this deck um it is having an intense sexual a connection a magnetic connection to somebody but they are at a distance so you you can't but you sure think about it <laughs> you sure want to um but this most definitely you are manifesting in a true love in true love this is um heavenly sent this is created by the beautiful um energy that you are now um exuding gemini singles so you guys have a big love coming in april for you guys bringing you out of this time of being single um you accepted the ending of this last relationship you um took the proper channels of healing you um closed the door to your past you move forward and bam there's somebody that is meant to be yours right there at your door or well not literally at your door but you know what i mean Okay, Gemini couples. Very exciting for you, Gemini uh, singles. And you come in, uh, in in the upright. So you are just, your vibration is, you're just raising, a, um, you know, reaching that higher level of consciousness. You're just becoming a whole new you. And you're embracing the change, and it's beautiful. All right. Gemini couples. Okay, I'm told to take them all, so this might be a minute. Okay, <laughs> bottom of the deck, king of cups in reverse. So you could have been the single, and that has already happened in your life, and now you are in this couple relationship. Otherwise, if you are in this couple relationship, um, oh yeah, this is um, getting over love of the past and moving right into a new relationship. So let's see what we all got here. Okay, so your guys, wow. Whoa. Hold on, Gemini couples. Okay, you guys have the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Hierophant. Okay. So, like I said, your bottom or your foundation card is the King of Cups in the uh, in the reverse, and your uh, overarching energy is the Fool. I'm not going to um, really focus on those just because you guys already have seven cards out here. So we'll just focus on the energy coming in for you. Um, so uh, you are coming into the month of April, getting out of a relationship where there was just a disconnect. Um, there was, I don't see that there was cheating in this situation um, for this, for you guys. Um, just getting out of a relationship could be um, ending a marriage, could be getting out of a long-term connection. Um, but this is somebody that you have invested in and it and put a lot of thought into whether or not you guys wanted to continue this. Um, you could have tried more than once to make it work and there just wasn't, there was like a disconnect in feelings. Um, you just weren't happy anymore. Uh, you couldn't seem to get on the same side of the coin. Um, so it, you did end up um, splitting up from this energy and, uh, and uh, ending that relationship. 
Let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. I'm going to get your clarifiers before I go through each one of these because this is quite the... Uh, this is quite the connection you got going on here, Gemini. This is new. This is something new. Um, just just meeting this person um, in the month of March. So in April, it's going to poof, explode into something amazingly beautiful. Whoa. Okay, bottom of the deck, High Priestess. This is something that is very um, spiritually connected. This is your yin to, the, yin to yang. Um, this person that you were connecting with is very connected to Source. Um, uh, could read tarot cards, could be a psychic. Um, if neither of those, this person listens, hears their intuition, listens to their intuition, and follows their intuition. This person is very... Um, in tune with their own energy. This energy is so very strong that it, like this person, um, people are just drawn to their energy because it is so amazing. It's so high. It is just, they are very sure of themselves. They're very sure of their spirituality. They're very sure of their connection to the universe and, um, and their soul's path. Uh, this is a beautiful connection for you, Gemini. Amazing, amazing connection. Um, they have, they have unconditional love for you. This is a soulmate um, connection, uh, possible twin flame connection. If that, you know, if that's something, or if that's something, if if that's what you call it, a divine partnership, this is heaven sent. This person um, was put into your life right when you needed them. Um, and your passion, your love for this person is going to be felt immediately. Um, if you haven't met this person already, um, you will meet them and they're just going to rock your world. Um, and it's once again, um, you could be connected to like spirit as well. Um, or you're like high, you have a high position or this person does one of the two, but this, see the keys to, uh, a committed relationship, a, the keys to a lifelong relationship are the same keys in the High Priestess card. So, uh, yeah, big things coming for you guys in April. So, let's start with your cards here. Um, once again, the Queen of Cups. The universe uh, is putting your true soulmate, your true life partner in your lap, literally. Um, this person is... Just the you treat her like a queen, uh, you know, or he's gonna treat you like a queen, however it fits. Um, but it's coming in, it's gonna move a little bit slow. You guys could be at a distance from each other because I did see that in the cards as well. Um, so you could, you know, have to travel a little bit to see this person, but um, this relationship is going to be built on with, with stable intentions, like this is moving into. A marriage. This is moving into uh, a commitment, a life partner, a soulmate connection. Um, this is moving into that energy very quickly because you you recognize who this person is instantly upon meeting them. Um, with the Knight of Swords, this connection. Um, I don't feel that this has been sexual yet. Um, if it has just as of recently, but, uh, this is a very deep seated soul connection, very deep connection. The bond is strong. The two of you will be, will be able to withstand anything that comes in your way. Anything that tries to shake the two of you up, you will stand united front. The two of you, um, will be a power couple. Um, the devil's not always a bad card. It's, it all depends on what it's paired with, what's around it. And this is nothing but spiritual connection. So with the devil, that's it. That's, uh, that invisible tie, that invisible cord that connects the two of you together is coming together. And it's going to, um, uh, you're going to reach new levels um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, sexually. Um, it's just a, an amazing connection. You're going to come forward offering this person this cup, or they are to you, one of the two. This is the real deal um, that's going to um, come into a... Uh, uh, 
like a serious commitment with the four of wands this is going to um it's going to take a little bit of time but it's not going to get stagnant don't worry this is this is moving um moving quicker than what you thought it would um or that you had intended but it's most definitely leading you into this divine partnership with the 1111 um, a stable foundation to be able to um share the love of life together the uh the ivory on there is the divine, um, you know, divine success, the crown of glory. This is a deep, deep connection, Gemini. Um, coming in with the Ace of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, a lot of fire here, um, or a Capricorn. But um, they could have Capricorn in their Venus. Doesn't have to be, but I just heard that. So um, most definitely so much passion here. So much connection. It's like baby light my fire. The two of you are just, you will melt in each other's hand or arms. Um, the, the passionate connection between the two of you is lit and it's just it's amazing. Um, and the two of you will, this is going to be a ride or die bitch. Like for real, like the two of you are going to defend this connection, defend the, uh, not really that you have to defend um, anything because the two of you are going to be happy. So people are going to be happy for you, but they're going, you're going to um, stand united front. Like you're not going to let anybody break this connection up ever. Like the two of you are going to stand united, be united and um, be very successful at it because you, the seven of wands follows the six of wands. You're going to have your success and you're going to do everything that you have to do to protect that, to keep that going. And it's going to, it's going to work. The two of you are going to also um, create something together in this world. This is, this is your soulmate. This is the person you're going to do your soul's mission with your soul's purpose and includes the two of you together. And it's just an amazing, like the energy I have from the two of you is just, like I'm almost flustered, um, and your guys's over or your guys's um, outcome card is the Hierophant with the Six of Wands. So this will ascend to that higher level of commitment. This is going to end in a marriage, and this marriage is going to last the test of time. You guys have spent many lifetimes together, and you guys are finding each other in this one as well, finding much success um, with the Divine at your back. There's nobody that can defeat you. Um, this person makes you want to do better, want, makes you want to be better. This person makes you better, and you do the same for them as well. Like, I have goosebumps, Gemini. You guys have the love of a lifetime entering your life. If not if not within the month of March, they're going to be here in the month of April. Oh, I got goosebumps. It's amazing. All right, Gemini Singles. Gemini Singles, hopefully this is your energy for Gemini, or for... Uh, couples for the month because this is amazing and gemini couples gemini couples okay Whew. all right so gemini singles you guys have Oops, wrong one. You guys have playfulness. Um, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Um, we will get a clarifier on these. Why is playfulness here for Gemini? And Gemini, um, getting yourself out there, uh, just having fun and enjoying yourself. Allow When you enjoy yourself and you have fun, your energy, your vibration naturally rises. When your vibration is high, you attract high vibe people. So in order for you to get that, in order for you to get that new beginning, in order for you to get that new person, in order for you to get your new start, your slate wiped clean and to have um, this new relationship come into your life, have fun. Let your spirit shine and your high vibration is going to attract in a very beautiful partner for you guys if you're looking for love in April. For uh, you Gemini couples, you guys have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Why is a wedding card here for Gemini couples? Okay. So yeah, you in the past have been moving forward out of the, oh my God, out of this connection. 
Whoa. This is a soulmate twin flame. I don't care what you say. Uh, this most definitely is blessed by the angels. Archangel Michael bringing you in your twin, your soulmate, after uh, you did the hard work of your transformation. Um, because as you uh, remember in your uh, regular reading, you had death as your uh, overarching energy. Um, I don't know. Check out your regular reading, your general message. Um, but wow, look at that. Guys, this is amazing. This is a new beginning. This person is going to fill you up with so much love. And uh, and you're going to do the same to them. This energy um, is most definitely... Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a water sign. I see all signs here, but very heavy Sag. Um, this is the uh, union of the two of your souls. This is two souls intertwining and becoming one two complete people that have done the healing that have put in the work um because you know you don't come into a soulmate twin flame connection unless you are healed and whole and complete because you can't have one person complete like you you are complete and you become one together so this is just you have a beautiful april coming Holy shit, I wish I was a Gemini. And for your guys' channel messages, I will have those uploaded. Um, I'm hoping by the end of the night. Um, but yours and Sagittarius' channeled messages were so intense. If you guys aren't dealing with each other, I would be shocked because your guys' messages were very similar. Um, and very sexual. Like, I swear to gosh, I got out of meditation and I was blushing. I was like, good lord. Like, yeah, your guys' energy is just freaking on, on point. Like, it's amazing. So, congratulations, Gemini. Just a couple months ago, you guys were feeling like just shit couldn't go right. And now everything is going right. So congratulations to those of you who this uh, applies to. Um, you guys are going to have a beautiful April and a beautiful new beginning to a beautiful connection. So, all right, Gemini, I send you guys all love and light and God bless.